Hi guys, welcome back to RC Warehouse. This is just going to be a super short video, but it's very helpful. I'm going to be teaching you how to properly charge a battery on the correct settings so nothing bad can happen. I'm doing this because I have had several batteries blow up on me and in my cars and I do not want that to happen to anyone else. Okay, so for this video, I will be using my Ultra Power up 100 AC plus charger so as you can see I have a whole bunch of different batteries and I'm just gonna teach you what settings to use them on okay so the first battery I'm gonna be charging is this Jens Ace battery as you can see it is 5,000 milliamps it is 7.4 volts and 2s that means it's only a two cell battery so the first step on here, it's already set up, but if it isn't, for every amp, that is 1,000 milliamps. So if it's a 5,000 milliamp battery, you want 5 amps. If it's 7,500 milliamp battery, then you want to get it to 7.5 amps. Okay, so since this is only 5,000 milliamps, you want to bring it down to 5 amps and then it's already set to 2s and 7.4 volts with this charger it automatically sets the voltage so it just automatically does it you don't have to do anything so now what you want to do is just get your battery and plug it in and then once it's a secure plug you just want to go to charge and then that's all you have to do so let's get the next battery next I will be doing this speed zone battery this is a speed zone it looks like carbon fiber casing so let's go ahead and plug this in. So again, you just want to plug it right in. So it's a nice secure connection. Now, since this one, it is 6200 milliamps. And it's, again, it's a 2S battery. And it's 60C. So with this, since it's 6200 milliamps, you want it to be set to 6.2 amps. And then again, 2S, and that's the settings for it. The next battery, I'll do this one. It's a 5,000 milliamp 3S battery. So you want to get it all plugged in. And then... Once it's nice, secure, plugged in, you want to, since this is a 5,000 milliamp 3S battery, so you want to set it back down to 5 amps, and then you want to go to 3S, and those are the settings for it. So again, for every 1,000 milliamps, that's 1 amp. If you don't charge it correctly, that could damage the battery and a possible explosion or rupture and then it'll just catch on fire and start smoking if you catch if you accidentally catch a lipo on fire you want to pour sand on it it nothing else will put it out because it is it doesn't need any oxygen to burn so you want to put a ton of sand on it if it puffs up too much beyond this, then you you don't want to risk it or anything. You don't want to risk anything getting damaged. So you just want to put it in salt water. That is the safest, easiest way to get rid of it. A more fun way to get rid of it is by um, hammering a hole into it. That will cause it to catch on fire. That's just if you have a wide open space. So that's it for this video. 
I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.